Hola. <laughs> Buenos dias. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for being fans. Uh, we definitely feel all of your support and uh, cheer for us this Sunday. It'll be a fun one. Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, soon. I think so. I don't know. They did. I show up wherever they tell me to go. I don't even know where I'm playing. I like. I learned we were in Miami like two weeks ago. It's crazy. I don't really pay attention. I just show up when they tell me to show up. Yeah. George, what's the wackiest question you've had to answer during a game? Oh dear. Um, I got one earlier. It was what was what's the best play in NFL history? Just on the spot. Um, it's the it's it's the catch, by the way. Come on. Yeah. Um, I played a form of Mexican bingo, which was wild. Um, that was fun, though. Um, yeah, I mean, I've had a fun time during Media Week. There's been a lot of good questions, um, a lot of the same questions, but it's all right. You know, I'm a professional. This is what I get paid to do. Hi. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's the black one underneath. Yep. Yeah. Is there a player I don't like to block? Nick Bosa. Yeah, it's awful. Oh, not on my team? Oh, dear. Um, you know, I think, in my opinion, one of the most underrated players in the NFL is Chandler Jones for the Cardinals. He's absolutely incredible. Um, the plays that he makes week in, week out, the turnovers that he forces, uh, he is I mean, I don't even know how to, like, he is so one of a kind in how he moves, how he, how physical he is, how long his arms are. I mean, like, he'll put his arms, I mean, I can't even touch his chest, and I feel like a little kid out there trying to, like, tackle my dad. Like, I can't do anything. And so he's just an absolute monster on the football field. So, but the great news is he's in my conference. I get to play him twice a year, so it's super fun for me. Thank you so much. Hi. Yes. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. What's up? I'm a big wrestling guy. Okay. No, you're a big wrestling guy. Yeah. Okay. Who's the best, in your opinion, wrestler of all time? Okay. Who's your favorite wrestler? Oh, wow. Uh, the, the best? I mean, like, that's, mm. I mean, my favorites are the best. So, I mean, the Rock and Stone Cold are definitely my favorite. It's like a 50-50 split. And I, what I love about it is, like, their personalities are so vastly different, but they're also kind of the same. Um, I, I just love, I just like watching them. They're just so fun. Like their personalities are incredible. Um, you know, currently, you know, Seth Rollins is my guy. He's an Iowa guy. I love that about him. Um, I also, you know, I've got to meet him a couple times. He's got, like, I got to talk to him about wrestling, like the behind the scenes part of it, which is super cool for me. Um, you know, other than that, uh, I mean, I love Pentagon Jr. Um, who's in AEW now. Uh, that's, you know, I got my first down celebration from. Um, I mean, I, I just kind of appreciate all the wrestling. Um, you know, just the work they put in week in, week out, you know, day in and day out, how different it is, you know, from, you know, luchadors wrestling to, you know, Japanese wrestling, how different it is. And I just I just try to, you know, soak all of it up and watch as much as I possibly can. You're going to go to uh, Tampa? I'll be in Tampa, yeah. Yeah, I can't I can't tell everyone. Like, now people are going to, like, try to find me. It's just going to be tough. Oh, yeah. I was first, so just letting you know. I went before them. Yeah, I went before them. That was fun. What's it like when you get to meet like a hero? My heart rate was through the roof for like 20 minutes. It was absolutely insane. Um, yeah, because when I, they're like, yeah, he's going to, The Rock's going to introduce you. And I literally turned around. I was like, who? The Rock? I turned around because no one gave me a warning. He was just like chest to chest with me. I was like, I almost fell off the stage because I was like, oh my, wow. I swore multiple times. I didn't know what to do. Um, uh, it was, yeah, I felt his biceps, they were massive. It was pretty fun. Oh, yeah, 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 easily. Yeah, Robbie Gold's a man. Got to listen to Robbie Gold. Hi. There was a, a great video here earlier in the season where you just yeah. run through a guy at the goal line. And then you, you're laying on your back laughing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, one of my, it's one of the best moments of the season. What, was, what, was, what had you laughing so much on that uh, well, for me personally, um, like pancaking guys, the best possible feeling in football. Um, it's incredible. But, you know, in that situation, just based on the run play that we had, um, I had a stretch look, which means the end was outside of me and I had the safety was in the C-gap. Um, 
you know, when you're like, you know, as a tight end, you're running the ball with the open field, a safety's going to take you out in the knees, like he's going to take a shot at you. I mean, that's just, you know, that's how football goes. And so when during that play, he was in the C gap one yard away from me and I'm in the three point stance and I know it's a run play, he's going to get absolutely all of my effort on a run play. So, you know, the next time he tries to come down there, he doesn't know if it's a pass or a run and he doesn't know if he needs to be physical with me and I can slip him for a route or what. Um, but so, yeah, I mean, once you, as a tight end, when you get an, when you get an opportunity to, you know, make a DB feel your presence, you got to take advantage of that opportunity. And um, yeah, I mean, I thoroughly enjoy pancaking guys, but I, I, as soon as I got onto that one, I was like, that's going to be a fun one to see. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And so pancakes better than touchdowns? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, moving a man from point A to point B against his will is the greatest feeling you ever feel. Uh, that's from Coach Moore, who's an old Pittsburgh coach. Um, but yeah, I mean, once you pancake a guy and you feel his breath leave his body, it's pretty special. Thank you.